Learning how to estimate the cost of labors in construction projects is very important when bidding for a project or even when executing the project to monitor the cost and making sure that the project stays on budget. That's why in this video I'll cover the subject in terms of how to estimate the labor cost per day or per month and how it affects the cost of different items in the project depending on the productivity. So let's assume here we have something like this. We want to estimate the cost let's say for a tile mason. We will need to know what is the salary of this tile mason and we will need to know how much is the accommodation, how much is the transportation, how much is the leave salary, how much is the end of service. This end of service will depend on the law of the country where you are living and all of that. But just in general, these are the things, even maybe if there is a visa or something, visa cost or something for this labor. So if the tile mason, for example, salary per month is 1,200 and let's assume the accommodation, let's say 350 and the transportation, let's say 200 and the leave salary, for example, will be one month per year. So if I'll take the salary of the month and divide it by 12 months, so it will be 100. End of service will be about, again, depends on the law, but it will be, let's say three weeks. So three by four into this divided by the number of months again and then the visa cost if i assume 5000 per year so that's again 5000 divided by 12 and let's take a submission here so i'll find that a labor for example or a tile mason costs per month 2400 and this is the breakdown okay let me remove these fractions so here is the cost per month and if I have a helper here or unskilled labor that will help this tiling mason, let's assume that the salary will be 1000 only and the accommodation will be 300. Transportation, let's assume same, leave salary, same formula and end of service, again, same formula and visa cost, I'll assume same here. So as you can see here, what I am doing, I'm just calculating the cost per month. And if the number of working days per month is let's say 26 days and here 26 days. So I can get here the cost per day. If I divide the monthly cost by the number of working days per month, I can get the cost per day for unskilled labor and for another skilled labor. It can be a plumber, electrician, block mason, tile mason, carpenter, steel fixer. It doesn't matter, the concept is still same. Just how much is the cost per month and what is the number of working days per month? When you divide both, you get the cost per day. Now, this is the first part of the formula. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adil and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. Now here, these two guys are a crew. So cost of crew per day, will be equal to this one plus this one. So this crew or this group of people, these two guys will cost per day around 170. Now I know how much is the cost per day, but the question now is what can I do for 170? What this 170 will do in the project? So this will take us to something else that is called the productivity. So how much is the productivity per day? And this is something that you should always be looking for. How much is the productivity per day? For any category of labors or any activity, any item in the project, you need to understand the productivity. So for example, if this is a tile mason and with the help of unskilled labor, they will cost 170 per day. If they can produce 15 square meters of tiles, let's say. So the cost for installing one square meter of tiles will be equal to 170 divided by 15. So the cost will be around 11. But the problem here is what? The idle man hours. What are the idle man hours? Now, based on this calculation, I am assuming that this tile mason and this unskilled labor will be doing 15 square meters of tile installation every day for 26 days per month for 12 months per year and this might not be applicable in all the cases because there will be something that we call idle man hours they will not be working you will not have work for them the whole year so now i need to assume 
if they are working a percentage only of the year, then how much will be the cost? So if they are working 100% of the time, then this will be the cost. I'll say equal to this divided by this. But if they are working only 70% of the year, then the cost per square meter will increase because they are not working every day. There will be few days where you will be paying the salary and the accommodation and all this stuff that we listed up here. And you are not getting this productivity every day. So I am assuming that 70% of the time I am getting this productivity. So if this number is 50%, how much it will be? It will be 22. And you can notice the difference. There is a difference here. If they are working, if you are opening them or keeping them busy all the time, 100% of the time, then the cost will be 11. But if the occupation is 70% only, then in that case, the cost per square meter will be 16. If they are busy 50% of the time, then the cost will rise to 22. It is the job of the business owner to make sure that the laborers or the project manager to make sure that the laborers are always busy. They always have something to do. And in this video here, I explain more about this subject. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.